Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 8th. Um, in the morning, I'm about to head out on deliveries. Um, I got up around 6.30, finished Wild Wild Country, the expose of the um, uh, cult turned community turned city of Ranish in um, Antelope, Oregon. Uh, I used to live in Hood River, uh, the Dolls area. I hadn't really heard about it. I mean, I heard little vague um, legends of the first and only bioterrorism attack in the um, United States happening there. Food poisoning of um, salmonella so that everyone would get um, sick so they couldn't vote. I didn't really understand what was going on. But watching the uh, series, which I did finish, um, uh, discovered it. Wow, I have to say, impressive documentary. Um, I mean, it's interesting religion, too. Um, I really didn't see as much as a threat as, um, I guess, the local community did. Um, because it shares a lot with paganism, too. So, um, But um, interesting philosophies. I'll have to dig deeper into this guru and the philosophies behind it. Um, and I guess when I go back to... Um, Tromp around Oregon. I have to go dig up myths and legends of that area. Uh, take some photos, but apparently not much exists. It's been replaced by another cult, a young Christian young life cult for kids. So went from uh, free love, sex filled, um, Hindu slash Indian kind of. Um, Cult to um, uh, abstinence resort camp for Christian kids. So um, anyway, um, going to investigate that and um, do some more histories and studies. Then um, I got some blogs done this morning and um, uh, just catching up with things and preparing for a summer tour. Um, sunny, hot. Clear skies, really blue, um, birds chirping, um, going to be 70s, 80s degrees today. Um, I only have eight hours scheduled for work today, so um, that's good because I'm pretty much out of gas. And I'm um, going to have to count my coins and see what I can dig up to fill up the tank today. Um, still got to uh, stretch on until um, Thursday morning when I get paid. So, But here we go. Um, that's the day. What a day. Um, pretty much um, did deliveries to about 11.30. I did have a lot of breaks through the day, though, which is nice because it would catch up with stuff. Uh, I don't know. My wheel is doing that kind of a thumping, rotating, humming thing. Uh, it seems like the left driver's side Um and then the squeaky brakes again, which is odd because I just replaced the brakes. So I don't know what's going on there. I crawled up underneath the car and looked up. I mean, this in the past, I thought it was like a CV joint or something. So, but I have no money to fix it or get it checked. So I just have to keep driving. Um, just not that good. I, if I steer the wheel towards the left and keep it towards the left, um, then there's none of that um, imbalance. Um, I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe I guess it's, it's just not balanced. Um, I have to open tech, check tire pressure tomorrow. Yep. Um, so this delivering is really beating me up. Pretty exhausted, but I'm making the hours that I need to make. So that's the important thing. Um, had a really cool delivery towards the end of the evening. Uh, they put like a $20 tip online and then they gave me a $6 tip in cash. And then it was like $7 um, payment for delivery. But it was a little bit of a drive though. It just took me about 40 minutes. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I... Um, Pretty much worked right past 11.30, though. They kept me really busy uh, with deliveries. 
Um, yeah, writing, blogging, catching up with counting, figure out festival plans. Looks like I'll be able to do Medieval Fest this um, um, next month. So excited about that. Hello. Yeah, I got dropped in a um, program level with one of the companies by 1% with acceptance from like 95. I dropped below 95% to 94%. And I think it was unfair because I had um, was talking with customer care to resolve an issue for a customer and um, we couldn't find the customer. And um, it was a dorm, so I left the food at the receptionist's desk and because um, the customer wasn't answering. And then I got in touch with Kara and they said, oh, no, no, go pick it back up from receptionist and um, um, wait for the customer. They got in touch with them. So I went and did that and I was on the phone the whole time and I guess I get two requests for Red Robin, which were missed. And so, of course, that counts against me. Another time I missed um, a request because um, um, the order was really big. I had drinks and I could only talk. Uh, I mean, I could only carry so much. Couldn't have the phone in my face. So apparently missed two requests then. And of course, that counted against me as well. So that was that. And um, that makes me not be able to request hours for next week for another day, which really screws up my system. Um, because I book a lot of hours in the morning on Thursdays, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Um, I did add a new delivery company, and I passed the background checks, so um, I'll be adding them into the mix. So that'll be four places that I deliver for. Um, well, almost five, I guess. So um Excited about that. They look like a good system. Definitely better than Company 2, which uh, I'll probably be dropping. So, well, um, got home. Uh, caught up with, with um, Jesse. Um, chatted a bit until midnight and then um, retired to the tiny house for watching Black Lightning. Um, I did get to talk with Kean earlier in, well, later in the evening. <laughs> And, um, he, uh, he just does not like to talk on the phone, but he didn't with his mom when he was with me, and it doesn't with her while he's with me while he's with her. So that's been frustrating. Um, he likes to keep the, but you know, that's the way it is with kids, I guess. I'm looking forward to the summer. Yeah, so a festival tour I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I'm going to be uh, booking some stuff. Um, still trying to figure out how the summer is going to going to work. Um, um, a lot to do. Oh, another delivery I had today was at the mall. Who orders mall food, really? Um, it was a hotel client, um, but really, mall cuisine? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe the options online just um, doesn't really tell them that it's mall food. But yeah, I never got malls. Malls are, um, I mean, I guess in some ways it's good that all the shops are put together in one big building, but they're massive buildings and they, uh, they destroy a lot of land. Um, but then I guess the spread. The urban scroll, scroll of um, sprawl of stores everywhere is um, potentially worse. I don't know. It just seems like such a fake concrete um, environment, and just the culture that builds around malls is second best to the Walmart culture. And uh, yeah, so for a store, a store owner, I don't know. Um, I kind of still like the quaint little shops, cottage shops. Shops that have a home built into them, I think that's the best model. Um, but, you know, with large corporations, it's, that's not how it works anymore. Um, so, um, but then I have problems with apartment complexes. I mean, it's like cardboard boxes built on top of each other. 
Um, everybody's just compacted in like uh, um, you know gerbils in a cage. Um, I don't know. Um, I've always been preference of houses. Um, I mean, if I had my way, I'd have a yurt on several acres of land in the woods. Um, but that's not a reality for me right now. Um, tiny houses, the way it works for me at the moment. Um, but anyways, um, I've always been a nomad and uh, uh, for that kind of lifestyle. It'd be nice to get um, um, a house on wheels, uh, a Varda or a caravan that uh, I could uh, take everything with me and explore the planet. But again, not reality of my moment. Anyways, I'm going to watch Black Lightning pass out and go to sleep. Oh, again, too, I did see a, a movie called Clappers, which reminded me of my um, time doing audience um, participation work. Uh, could relate so much with that movie. It was it was funny. Um, yeah. Uh, memories of history. So, Anyways, um, off to sleep. Good night.